The older your water heaters, HVAC system, and major appliances are, the more money can cost you to run them. Replacing them or remodeling to make your home more energy efficient can save you money in the long run and reduce your carbon footprint. We, we had done some other things uh, some, you know, a few years ago, like we replaced the furnace with a high-efficiency gas furnace. We replaced the air conditioner with a high-efficiency. Um, but that, again, that was partly because we needed to, and so we just went to the higher efficiency when we did. So Another energy hog is just your regular old drafty door or window. If replacement doors and windows aren't in your budget, there's a cheaper green alternative. Another great way to improve energy efficiency in a remodel job is just making sure your house is sealed well. Check for air leaks, doors and windows are sealed well, vents are sealed well. But also be sure that you've got a carbon monoxide detector in your house too because you don't want to get your house sealed too tight that you end up having issues with carbon monoxide. The uh, other thing we had done was we replaced the insulation in the attic with some new quite thick stuff. So they like that. And uh, so between the windows and the furnace and the air conditioner and the insulation, and we kind of hit all the big things. Year before last, for June, July, August, September, and October, our electric bill was around 800 something. And this year, and I think it was hotter this year, um, it was more like 560. So we did, we did, it was I think hotter and we did spend less. You can even choose eco-friendly flooring that shrinks your carbon footprint. If you're looking for new flooring, it's just um, it's really evolved into now that there's many options for green alternatives. Um, one of those have always been around is wool. Wool's a um, very uh, viable source for using. Uh, it's green. It's a natural material. Um, other things, if we're talking about carpet, would be carpet tiles uh, rather than some of the other uh, you know broadloom type carpets. And the reason why that works so well is if the carpet gets damaged in a certain section, you can replace that individual tile rather than having to replace the whole carpet. Um, so obviously you're reducing the amount of waste there. Um, some of the other alternatives would be if you're looking for a hard flooring uh, surface, um, you know, we offer cork and bamboo. That's a renewable, uh, highly renewable uh, source. It's uh, very cost efficient. There are even natural alternatives to cleaning products like salt baking soda or vinegar that save you money and save the earth because they don't have volatile organic compounds or VOCs. So there are lots of options if you're looking to do your part to reduce your carbon footprint. This is Ian B. Clark, News 46.